The eastern cicada killer is among the largest wasp species in the United States. As you'd expect from the name, it is a fearsome predator of the cicada, which the female uses to feed her young. After using the protein of the cicada to reach an enormous size, the adults simply feed on nectar and sap. And though they seem quite intimidating, the cicada killer is very unlikely to ever sting a human, unless handled. These enormous zebra-striped wasps play an important role in our ecosystem. Because cicadas feed on the roots of deciduous trees, the cicada killer is critical to the health of our deciduous forests. Another giant of an alarming size is the great golden digger wasp, seen here doing what it does best, pollinating. These huge wasps have a strategy similar to the cicada killer, but the female instead uses a grasshopper, or katydid, to feed her young. In effect, these wasps double as population control for leaf-eating insects and as pollinators for wildflowers, like this milkweed. When we imagine natural pest control, we tend to first think of the spider. Everyone knows that despite their eerie appearance, spiders are of critical importance to our society, keeping insect pests in check. But it's important to remember that many wasps are voracious pest predators as well. These peppers, for instance, were protected from the tomato hornworm by a braconid wasp. When it comes to the order Hymenoptera, Bumblebees and honeybees tend to be recognized for their ability to pollinate, but buzzing around the orchards and farms of America are hundreds of other bees and wasps who go unnoticed, unappreciated. These apples in the southern Appalachians, for instance, were likely pollinated by a tiny, inconspicuous Andrina bee. The humble mason bee is a very effective pollinator for blackberries and raspberries. In their native range, Fig trees are pollinated by wasps only a few millimeters in length. Around the world, there are wasps and bees who don't make any honey, who don't have cute, fuzzy bodies, but are nonetheless critical to their ecosystem and to agriculture. To a large extent, our Hymenoptera hatred is due to a tiny handful of extremely aggressive, dangerous species. In North America, that's the yellow jacket and the bald-faced hornet. Although we have over 18,000 wasp species in North America, these species are responsible for the majority of serious stings. It's important to remember, however, the ecosystem services provided by the thousands of wasp and bee species native to North America, even the most intimidating ones.